Good evening, welcome to another guide about another hero in Heroes of the Storm. My name is Miyuri Roshi and today I'm gonna discuss Sergeant Hammer. Sergeant Hammer has been uh, lately played a lot in competitive scene. Um, he has, or she actually has, great siege potential. All she needs is, um, yeah, another person to protect her in lane and with the insane range that Sergeant Hammer has um, she can easily take down uh, enemy structures uh, all she needs is some extra protection and this is why most of the time you just um, take three men in a lane and two together with Sergeant Hammer and then two other guys will just take the other two lanes and you will just heavily push that single lane and defend Sergeant Hammer so he can take it down. Uh, the enemy team of course will uh, try to stop the siege but Sergeant Hammer has a lot of tools to stay on safe distance and uh, to keep the enemies away. So without further ado let's get into the skills. The easiest way again is by clicking the play button and get into the yeah the hero select. Um, Sergeant Hammer does not have a mount. She has uh, certain different skins. This is the master skin and then she has the war world Sergeant Hammer. Um, her main abilities. On her first ability she has spider mines. Uh, you create a spider mine and three at first in front of you or behind you, wherever you want to place them. Um, and if an enemy gets close to the spider mine, the spider mine will start walking up to the enemy and when it hits, gets in contact with the enemy, it will slow that enemy and deal damage. Um, the second ability is Concussive Blast. Basically what you do is in one quick burst you shoot your cannon and it damages the enemy plus knocks them back. So you can keep your enemies uh, at away from you, you keep, can keep them at uh, a distance because you just blast them back. And then why Sergeant Hammer is so strong for sieging is the siege mode. Uh, you do become immobile, that's why you need your teammates to defend you. Um, but you increase your range, you deal splash damage and you deal extra bonus damage to minions and structures. So. The extra bonus damage to structures is why Sergeant Hammer is so strong in sieging and also of course the increased range. The only downside is the immobile part, that's why you need your team members to defend you when you're sieging up. Um, what most people do is they place their spider mines in front of, uh, of, of themselves and if an enemy gets close they try to knock them back of course and meanwhile keep shooting at the structure and yeah your enemy uh, will try to stop you. The best way to stop you is also by knocking you back or by displacement skills so they can um, yeah, they can effectively uh, move you out of position so you are out of range of the structure that you want to take down. Uh, maybe I can show it later in my match if the enemy uh, does something like that. Um, it's passive of Silent Hammer is artillery you deal more damage to enemies that are further away, that's why with Sergeant Hammer you want to siege at the max range and then just start blasting away. His heroic abilities are Blunt Force Gun and Napalm Stride, uh, Strike. Blunt Force Gun is just not an amazing skill. Um, I, I don't see anyone taking it in the high end uh, yeah place in, in the high-end competitive scene for example and the, the higher uh, diamond master leagues it is just not a really good skill why is not a good skill you first have to charge up before it actually shoots so you have like one second animation time the enemy can easily then at that point already sidestep you and the cannon will just miss then at level 20 this uh, skill becomes pretty interesting because you can just um, move it over the map constantly, it automatically keeps moving in a line over the map. Then it is a little bit decent, but then again it is 
more a PvE skill than it is for PvP. So the blunt force gun does not really give you any power in team fights, and that's all what Heroes of the Storm is about at some point. It's about the team fights. So as soon as you hit level 10, what most people take is Napalm Strike. Napalm Strike again also helps a lot with sieging. Uh, basically, what you do is you shoot a really long range napalm in a circle um, where you aimed it. It will start dealing first initial damage, blast damage, and then later on uh, it t ticks damage from fire damage basically that is in that area. Uh, enemies can really easy walk out of the napalm strike, but in team fights, when people are clumped up a bit more and you can use napalm strikes in closed areas, in bottlenecks for example, they have to pass through it and they will then take the initial damage and the, f the fire burn damage afterwards. <laughs> so napalm strike is really, for sieging, much much stronger than blunt force gun until level 20, then blunt force gun is uh, a bit better at taking down structures from safe distance. But before that, Napalm Strike is much better, and Napalm Strike also brings more to the team fights. So that's why most people take Napalm Strike. Uh, let's talk about the talents then. At level 1, you have uh, 5 different talents. Do not take Regeneration Master. Um, like I said, you want with your team to stick in the lane with your uh, support. Support should have heals, so you do not need extra health regeneration. Uh, ambush is just not that amazing either because it is only for one basic attack that this uh, talent counts for so as soon as you enter siege mode you enter cloak and then your next basic attack deals 100 damage but what then after it does not do anything anymore so every time you siege up one attack you do ha extra 100 damage but it's just not really worth taking a lot of people take um, resistance or resistant. It reduces the um, uh, disabling effects while in siege mode. Um, especially when you're against a team that has a lot of roots or slows or stuns or anything like that, you want this uh, talent. Because the most deadly thing that can happen to Sergeant Hammer is when he's in siege mode and the enemy just roots you down. And you cannot get away. So in the time that you're you're in siege mode you're a sitting duck they can really easily land CC and if they land that CC lock you're most likely dead so resistant uh, saves your ass a lot of times in this case so when the enemy has a lot of CC potential take resistant little blast is uh, pretty decent it deals 50% uh, extra damage with the concussive blast um, but for utility resistant is just superior if you want to deal more damage then you can go for lethal blast but lethal blast is not really something that you are constantly using uh, the concussive blast you only use when the enemies get close to you but they should not get close to you basically you should already be moving away or you should be uh, repositioning yourself so you are in a safe position that your teammates can defend you and that you can siege the enemy structures. So Lethal Blast is a good talent but most of the time you won't really make use of the Concussive Blast if you play uh, Silent Hammer correct. Uh, that's why Advanced Artillery is much better for uh, the siege build because the longer distance you are the more damage you deal the enemies so this is again uh, a passive purely for sieging at level 4 most people take maelstrom shells and this is because this increases uh, sergeant's hammer basic attack by 20 percent sergeant hammer already has a huge range and with maelstrom shells is just insane the the enemies won't really get close to you if your team protects you well enough you can always in time get away and you can just keep sieging and sieging and being really annoying and drawing all the attention of the enemy team towards you and that means that your team members can easily get objectives somewhere else on the map <laughs> so that's a really nice um, nice upgrade to Silent Hammer 
Vampiric Assault. I am not convinced uh, by this talent for any hero. It is just n it doesn't heal enough. It is just uh, not that great. Focus Attack is debatable. If you want to deal more damage directly, then you can take this one. But Silent Hammer is not really about dealing damage uh, in at at targets. It's more about sieging and being annoying. So that's why Maelstrom Shells helps much more. Um, excessive Force is uh, doubling the knockback distance. Again, it's a decent skill for keeping the enemy at distance. But yeah, your um, Concussive Blast has, I believe, 10 seconds cooldown. So it's not like you're going to use it a lot of times. Your team should already make sure that the enemy doesn't really get that close to you and you should with repositioning and uh, yeah, getting knowledge of where the enemies are, you should be positioning in time yourself as well. Um, at level 7, a lot of people take first aid because this lets you um, yeah, get away with a lot of, uh, of more aggressive sieging. Because you, you can just heal up after after that, but I also really prefer the the hyper cooling engines. Basically, it reduces your uh, thrusters by ten percent. Thrusters is Sergeant Hammer mount. Instead of a mount, she has uh, like these little rockets that pop out to her side, and she can use it every thirty seconds. It gives her an, her an insane uh, speed boost. I believe sixty percent or something. It's it's a bit higher than the mount. And this one basically gives you the thrusters already at uh, your altar, at uh, the hearthstone. So out of base, you're much faster out of base if you take this passive every time because you get the the thrusters, and it reduces the cooldown to, to 20 seconds. So you can use it way more often. And the nice thing about the thrusters is if you're in siege mode and you activate your thrusters, you're immediately out of siege mode. You can immediately move away. And if you can do this every 20 seconds instead of every 30 seconds, you become a much bigger threat in siege mode. Now at level 10 we kind of already uh, discussed blunt force gun and napalm strike. Uh, most people take napalm strike. Then at level 13, um, there are a few nice things that you can go for. A uh, giant killer is never bad for team fighting. Um, first strike is also never bad. Uh, you deal more damage if you're not being attacked, and you deal quite a bit more attack damage, 25%. But lately, most people take bullhead mines because these mines get really annoying when you take this passive. You can pop down three mines, as I said, with the normal abilities. And with the bull head mines, they each individually knock back the enemy a short distance. And it is just so annoying to be knocked back three times in a row if you placed even more mines. Like if you had time to place six mines in a row, you can get back, knock back six times in a row. And it is just so annoying. It gives you so much time as Sergeant Hammer to just get out of really nasty situations just purely based on the annoyance of these mines. So this one is really nice to take at level 13. At level 16, um, if you take the bullhead mines, it is uh, pretty nice to also take the minefield. So you spawn two more mines, so up to a total of five, and you can knock back enemies five times and slow them and deal damage. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, executioner is not that great unless you have um, someone in your team that uh, causes enemies to be disabled because you yourself uh, have only your spider mines to slow your enemies and you cannot really rely on them that much because en enemies can just see the spider mines and they can just walk around it and avoid them. Um, what is also being picked a lot is hover siege mode Basically, uh, from now on in siege mode, you can move a little, yeah, a little bit. You can move at 50% movement speed. Um, this lets you reposition in siege mode. 
So if you have a nice uh, wall of team members in front of you protecting you, you can keep moving forward, backward a little bit in siege mode and just keep sieging the enemy's uh, structures without getting out of siege mode. Because if you go out of siege mode, you have a cooldown and yeah, that's pretty annoying. Um, graduating range is decent but is not necessary after you already took at level 4 the Maelstrom shells. So I would abstain from this passive. And then last but not least, Stone Skin. If you have at level 7 already the first 8 and you take at level 16 stone skin, you are really hard to kill and you can get away with uh, very aggressive plays pretty much. So you are also becoming really hard to kill in team fights. So if the game is all about team fighting instead of sieging, then stone skin is really a good uh, talent to take around level 16. It kind of depends how the match goes. If your enemy team lets you just siege, then uh, you can just take hover siege mode. Uh, if you're constantly team fighting and your team is constantly team fighting, you can take stone skin to be uh, more uh, tanky in a team fight and deal more damage over time that way. And if you yeah, want to be annoying with the, t with the mines and you are also sieging a lot, then you can take the minefield extra. They also deal, of course, extra damage. So. This is a bit uh, of both. It is more utility based than the defense or offense uh, choices. At level 20, if you take the Napalm, you kind of want the uh, Advanced Leva Strike because you increase the range by 75% for the Napalm Strike and you deal more damage with uh, the impact. Uh, Fear of the Storm, I'm not really convinced uh, about this skill, so I, I would not really choose this. Uh, Nexus Frenzy is interesting because again you increase your attack range and you in increase your attack speed so you can take down structures faster but the advanced labor strike kind of does the same because you just shoot with extra range the napalm and yeah it deals more damage as well so it, it kind of counters out the extra range that you get from this and the extra attack speed so they're kind of doing the same but the difference is that this one is really for taking down structures basically and this one is more for team fighting again I would say. So if your game is all about the team fighting go for Nexus Frenzy. If it is more about sieging then you can take the, uh, the advanced Leva strike. Well that was it for uh, Sergeant Hammer. I will turn off the webcam and play a match, a quick match. Hopefully we get uh, some nice opponents and a nice team and yeah. Have fun watching. Thanks uh, for watching already. Okay, there we go. Found opponents. My team is Zeratul, Diablo, Brightwing and Gaslo. Um, we do have a tank, we do have a support. We do have an assassin and double specialist in the Haunted Mines. Um, double specialist in the Haunted Mines is really bad, so that we have now a sergeant hammer and a gaslow is is not that great what i want to do is i want to put gaslow in the lane that doesn't have the golem and i want to put myself or with the rest of my team in the lane with our golem so we push down that lane really fast gaslow with his little turret should be able to defend against the enemy team on his own so let's see how it works out and if it actually uh, I'll type to the gas load to please go uh, to that lane solo. We'll have to see also what we're against. Be before we take any talent, does the enemy have a lot of uh, CC? They do have stitches to pull me, but for the rest they don't have much CC. So I can get away with the advanced artillery right now. I do not need resistant. I'm going to the top lane. Okay, I typed to the team there, and they uh, they listened to me. That's really nice. Really, uh, 
really good start already to to have a team that actually acknowledge uh, the game plan. The question is though, what they're gonna do now? Because I see them all moving to the other. There is someone here. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna siege. Extremely bad indeed. Uh, team didn't defend me that well. Brightwing luckily uh, kept me alive so I could take down two. And they only took me down. I'm gonna use the thrusters. Get quicker back to the lane. We're behind in XP. So hopefully we'll catch up soon but... The enemy has already 4 kills, so they should have never went to this uh, this shrine, they should have just went to top and followed the game plan with uh, the sieging. Yeah, see, now he displaced me out of my siege mode, so... Kind of the, the best defense against uh, Sergeant Hammer. Nope, I got pulled. I'm have to go into. I'm gonna take the increase range. I don't know where the rest of my team is. Uh, I have no clue. Ah, oh, yeah, he got me. That was nice, though. That was nice, Lande. I did not think that he would have the, the singularity spike that fast again. That was well played by him. The team is in the meantime. Where they killed Tychus? Okay, nice. I need to get to them. See, the enemy Sergeant Hammer also just entered. So I'll try to get there. But yeah, I use my thrusters to get out of base quick and they're now on cooldown. Okay, let's just get as quick as possible to... we're uh, pretty far behind <laughs> they already have 51 uh, skulls so hopefully we can take this one down ok, at least even I'm gonna try to uh, defend the top lane quick. I just shot him out of. Uh, I didn't shoot him out of the siege mode, but I shoot him away. Since there's so much fighting going on, I'm gonna take the the healing. Ooh.
can't really do much now. Because the enemy is really defending uh, well. What I could do is go to the bottom lane, but I kind of want to push the top lane because that's where the. They keep trying to, to push me, or uh, pull me. I need to go base, I'm way too low. Oh, there's something going on here. Yep. We're ahead now in XP. We're playing really nice as a team, I have to say going really well. I'm just gonna stand here now at the side and uh, gonna napalm strike this four down. What I wanna do is actually put it around here. I wanna keep a distance. I see someone died there, yeah. timings for them to die. All I need to do now is just make sure that I don't die. <laughs> I'm just gonna siege here behind the gate and then uh, let's kill them. So right now the problem is that we will not really get much skulls. Focusing on the skulls though. Okay. I'm gonna siege up. Okay. They're just waiting for a pool, I see. really well played of my team. I'm gonna do the spider mines, especially that alt of Gaslow was just amazing and the Diablo initiate was also really good in my opinion. He chose the right moment to go in there and cause confusion. He was about to die anyway, so he did the max what he could. That was, uh, that was really well played by him. gonna get a uh, quite a bit more skulls now they will allow us at least what the enemy will do though is they will take mid now but it does not matter because we already took down uh, the fort in the top so we have a huge advantage right now compared to the enemies who still have to take the bottom so as soon as we just defend these big guys and take our own big guys to defend ours be pretty easy. Um, I do not know why they're not pushing. Only the Zeratul is with me. Oh, that is. Oh, crap. That is really terrible. survived it I guess. Oh that Brightwing just saved me. Wow that was really well played of Brightwing and the Zeratil actually killed Tychus because he overcommitted there to get me. That was amazing of Brightwing. That was really amazing of Brightwing. I'm gonna help the 
never tool. The spider mine is also saved me there. But mostly Brightwing. That was just amazing play of Brightwing, if you ask me. Um, since they're focusing me so hard, I'm gonna take Stone Skin. I'm gonna siege up in the bot lane. Since, uh, Oh yeah, they got me. I wasn't even aware to get the to get the stone skin. I should have sticked with my team. That was my uh, my mistake. I did not think that the Zeratul and the stitches would come there. I think they walked like this way, like beside their big boy stitches came from this around the the vision that we had. Yeah, and Zeratul is in cloak, of course. I didn't see him. So yeah, should have just stick to top, I guess. Killed uh, the Zeratul again. That Brightwing, her alts are really good, I have to say. That is really giving us a lot of opportunity to uh, to defend and siege. Took also the the first eight and the and the stone skin in this match because there's going to be a lot of fights around. Uh, yeah, for the skulls, so if I can survive longer in those fights, that, that would help a lot. Plus, if I have to compete with uh, the enemy Sergeant Hammer, I'll most likely win now. One on one. Kind of depends, let's see what skills he has. Yeah, I will definitely win because he has no heals at all. So I will win every fight then against that Sergeant Hammer. We're already level ahead. Almost two. There's a big fight going on there, but yeah, I'm, I'm not there. Because I prefer to get the... Uh, get the big golem. If we get this really easy, then it's just... We actually killed the enemy team. They killed with three people, <laughs> three enemies. That's uh, that's pretty insane, I have to say. I think we can we can get a hundred skull uh, golem here. If that is the case, it's, it's just over. That golem will in one straight line push, and I will push with it. Oh, I didn't see the. It doesn't really matter because Brightwing is here, luckily, so... No, just that one in the corner left. I do not see the enemies, so I really hope they're not heading this way. <laughs> no, I see Zeratul there on the bottom. They kinda gave up, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go base together with Brightwing. <laughs> Actually, why would I? I'm full HP. I am a Brightwing. I have my cooldowns on my stone skin and my uh, my healing aid. So why would I go base? Quickly need to destroy his gate so Diablo can get back. They're fighting just outside of my range. See the knockback? That was. Uh, he's trying to pull me now. Pretty, f pretty sure. No, I'm too far away. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna rotate to bottom because they're too busy with the golem. So I'm just gonna make sure that the bottom also goes down now. I 
that's what my team is doing. See our golem is still up, so the enemy is fully busy with that, so I can just keep sieging right now. Uh, I believe Tychus is now heading to me. Someone was heading to me. I need to stick with my team right now. Let's see what uh, Diablo is doing. I think the enemy kind of gave up or something. I only see the Zeratul. Oh, the base is almost down now, so, so. We're just doing it uh, thorough. 7% the enemy has left. So we kind of have to just uh, pee against the, <laughs> the core and uh, it will be down. There it is. Well, thanks for watching. And that was a really nice display of how to, uh, to play Sergeant Hammer, also uh, with the Brightwing protecting me. Was perfect, perfect match. Thanks for watching.